Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. Welcome back, Diecast Outcast here. Today we're going to do an unboxing video of a lot of red lines that I picked up and a couple things that came in the mail. First and foremost, I picked this car up on Facebook on an auction site and I literally had to have it. It is the Redline Gremlin X. I really like this car. I believe it came out in 1974. I know I'm going to get some of these wrong, so feel free to correct me in the comments. Make sure you're correct as well. Now, every time I think of Gremlins or any of those little cars, I think of the Pinto. Poison Pinto is another one of my favorites. And this one is somewhere between 74 to 77. Picked up these decals at Second Chance Redlines. And for this first part, I went to a flea market a couple weeks ago and came across the, some Matchbox cars. This one is a beach buggy and it says 1970 on the bottom, number 30. Now we have a Matchbox Super Fast, number 44 Boss Mustang, 1972. This ugly ass car is a 1971, number 51. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name of it, but it's a super fast. I probably won't do anything with this one. Got another super fast here, Matchbox, 1975, number 38, Formula 5000. Another ugly ass car probably won't do anything with. Uh, super fast, number 41, Siva Spider. Now we've got a car that's near and dear to my heart. It is a Dodge Challenger, number one. It's a super fast as well. This was made in 1975. It's a 72 through 74 Challenger. I like it because I own a real one. This is one of my favorite Hot Wheels castings. I've got quite a few of these. I'm gonna do a custom here pretty soon. Found this old Hot Wheels fire truck. Now all these came in a plastic bag together. This is the 1970 Matchbox number 34 Formula One. And I really like this casting. It is a 1971 Blue Shark. It's a Matchbox super fast number 81 and I noticed that they re-released it recently there's a few differences but I thought that was pretty cool that's it for the first lot now this is all the cars that I bought this week these are some leftovers from a good friend of mine's grandfather's collection and we have a kid painted sugar caddy this is one of the spoiler edition cars from Hot Wheels it's probably one of my favorite castings from the Redline series. Now from one of the original Sweet 16 Hot Wheels, we have a custom Firebird, and this is in rough shape. It's gonna be a fun one. Now we have a magenta that was kid painted Harry Holler. I've never even heard of this one until I found it in the box. Not sure what's missing, but it may be a fun restoration. We have another kid painted Sweet 16. This is a Python. It's a Hong Kong version. You can see it's got the green tinted glass. Another one I've never seen before. It is kid painted as well. It is a Hot Wheels Power Pad. If you haven't noticed, I'm new to the red lines, so you'll have to forgive me. Now 
And here we have another one. I believe is a spoiler edition. It is the Evil Weevil Volkswagen. It's been kid painted as well. It has two engines in it. And another one of the more popular cars, it is the Nomad. They call it Alive 55. Man, these cars are caked with some enamel paint. Looks like it was brushed on. And another one of the Sweet 16 cars, it is the Custom T-Bird. This is the US version. It has the clear glass in it. You really can't tell, but. And what everybody needs is a custom painted all red super van. We have what I believe is the 1974 Hot Wheels Dune Daddy. Now we have a black wall version of the Red Baron. It is enamel painted. And I'm gonna place it beside the Spectre Flame version, the earlier with the cap style wheels. We have another Sweet 16. This one is extremely rough, missing the bearing and the back. I guess it would be the hood, uh, Ford Mark IV. Now we have a very toned Magenta AMX2. I don't know if I'm gonna just clean it up, put some new wheels on it, or if I'm gonna restore it. It does have a pretty good sized dent on the top, but it is in pretty good shape. This is a pink enamel 74 to 77 hauler. It is missing whatever trailer it had with it. And yet another T totaler. This one's got me a little baffled on the color. It is definitely a rose or a pink. It is a classic cord it's uh, lighter than a magenta and it's definitely more pink than the red so I need to do some more research on it here's another one that baffles me all the damn near mint beatnik bandits are green this is one that I bought from a guy named tiny off uh, Facebook and then this one came in the lot with all the other cars and they're both in excellent shape I was excited when I first saw this because this is the Mongoose car, but then I realized it's a reproduction from 94, I believe. But I do have a, an original version. It's got the stickers on it still. Also have the Hot Wheels swing and wing with the engine that comes out the back. I believe it's missing the wing on it. And I'm really digging this Redline Jeep Grasshopper. I've got a heavy hauler. Uh, this may be an ambulance, I'm not 100% sure. I know it's missing whatever went on the back. This one I really like. It is a Hot Wheels Baja Bruiser. 74 to 77. Another heavy hauler. This one definitely is an ambulance. Pretty rough shape, but it's mostly there. I 
don't even know what to say about this ugly thing. It's called the hood. But I think it'll turn into a really nice restoration. Now we get on to some of the later black walls and later red lines. Uh, this is actually the taxi, and I wish this thing was in good shape. It's going to be easy restoration though. This one's pretty sweet. It is an American hauler. I really like it. And we've got another Sweet 16 silhouette. Of course, I had to have this one. It is a Jaguar. Some of you may not know, but I drive a Jaguar XJ6 on the daily. This is pretty sweet. We got a Hot Wheels Sizzler van. Now we've got the infamous 271 car. If only it was still in the package and the package said 271 in it, this thing would be worth thousands and thousands of dollars. And another one of my favorites, it is the Hot Wheels Hawk Bird. Yes, we have another one of these again. Got a good custom plan for this one. Got the Cobra because it's got the real riders on it. It's missing a windshield. Uh, I like the white letters on it, so it'll probably end up going on a General Lee replica. I'm gonna look at some vans. We got one of these, I believe it's a ball hall breaker. And the GMC Motorhome it says Palm Beach on it. And we have two of the Hot Wheels variations of the A-Team van. This is a super van. And this is the A-Team scheme on the Baja Breaker van. Looks like it's got the fixed hood on it. Pretty sweet. Needs cleaned up. Last but not least, we've got the flamed 74 to 77 Red Line Super Van. I'll probably leave this one alone. I like it. Stay tuned because you'll see me being mean to Dipsy after the end here. You can catch me on YouTube, Instagram, and Snapchat. Hope you're ready for the next episode. Hey. <laughs>